Hello guys, welcome to my channel again. Uh, it's been a while since the last time I uploaded a video, actually several months. Uh, and I apologize, I've been away for so long, but don't worry, I got you back, and I'm back with a couple of surprises that came on the e in the mail today. Special thanks to Master Shop Hobby Center in Bogota, Colombia, for getting me this at Gen Con 2019. Much appreciated, Luis. Uh, okay, now, without further ado, let's do this unboxing. I got a couple of surprises here for you guys, and I'll, of course, I'll be performing tutorials on both of them. Um, as soon as I get rid of a co uh, com commission I have. But, okay, without further ado, let's see what came in. First of all, we have... Right, Conrad Curse. My favorite Primark from the Trader Legions. Um, I always wanted this model so bad. Now that I have it, I can't wait to start working on it. Uh, let's see what comes in here. As always, we have a couple of plastic containers in order for us to... Check what came in. Oh, sorry. I, I, I'm still looking at this. And it looks amazing, guys. The detail. The power armor. Conrad Curse. You can see a couple of skulls and creepy stuff on his legs. Some skin face skins um, this mall is just beautiful just beautiful as expected um, I think this mall is well yes this mall is way older than lemon rust and I was expecting expecting a little bit less but they have been consistent with their quality as I can see um, yeah, it's, it, it looks pretty nice, pretty neat. Let's see what else we have here. Let's put this aside for a second. A couple of that solar auxilia. This one is missing his head and his arm, I think. I will be able to see, look for them in a minute. Um, Conrad Cursed shoulder pads filled with skulls and bones and night lords, of course, uh, wings and skulls. I think this is uh, a little bit defective because I can see that there's barely resin here. I don't know if I should f uh, reinforce that with green stuff or just leave it as it is. Okay, uh, but it, beside that, I don't see anything wrong with this piece. It's beautiful. Thank you very much, Forge War, uh, for the customer care department for Forge, from Forge World. When I got my lemon rust, they they sent me some of the pieces that were damaged in in immediately. They arrived like in ten days or so, and I'm in South America, so. If you're in America or in the US, you can inspect them a lot, lot faster. Solar auxilia, that guy, uh, you can see the muscles, bones, flesh, third down, third up, like rip off of his, of his face and, and chest. The cloak, covered with leather and faces and pieces of skin of his enemies mm, there is a cloak beneath all these uh, details of skin I, will, I guess is that's the red thing we see this cloak that this torn up cloak beneath all that those skin pieces and bones and skulls it's actually beautiful beautifully crafted 
have more detail than the one for, for lemon rust. Uh, let's see what else we have here. Of course, Conrad Kerr's face, the arms, the solar auxilia head that was missing. Um, piece of armor for Conrad. Not quite sure where it, where it goes. I think one of his legs or something. Um, okay, let's see what else we have here. Conrad Kerr's hands, claws. I think a piece is missing there. Okay, I, I see it. It's here. It's in the box. I guess one of the solar auxilia's hand, the one that was missing, is also in here. Um, okay, this is the claw that was, that came off the sprue or the, the block, resin block. Let's put this again together somewhere or somewhat in the order it was. Mm, I don't think I will need to perform that much uh, sub-assemblies with this model. I mean, it's just pretty straightforward. I'll give it a special treatment to every single piece, like I did with Lemon Rust. But this time around, I'll be actually filming me painting the model. So I'll point out any tricky spots, any tips and tricks that come along the way uh, for you to paint it, paint your model, or have an easier time painting them. Let's see what else we have here. Okay, the basis, big chunk of resin, actually. Mm, I can see that there is a couple of, of air bubbles here that didn't allow the model to completely Or it didn't flow completely through through the mold, so uh, nothing that we cannot fix. It's actually, with a cup, uh, a little bit of liquid green stuff, if I decide to fix it, we'll do the trick. Uh, we'll have to be very careful while we're, when cutting here, because this piece is really thin. So I'll let you know how I cut this off. Don't worry, if, if you have a similar situation like this one, I'll let you know what I did and how to fix it, if it breaks or, or whatever. So don't worry, I get your cover. This time around, I'll be really, really detailed with the, the instructions and process of painting. Uh, this is the lock for the actual battle base, mini base, whatever. Um, I guess this goes like around here I'm not quite sure I'll need to check it later when I start building up the the actual model and the basis on all the detail I guess it comes this way it should at least it, like using logic it should go somewhat around here locking this piece in place but later on we'll check that uh, of course both of the bases and I'm missing the checked paper okay here it comes yeah well you know this is new I uh, usually well well when I painted lemon rust when I got lemon rust it was handwritten now they're using some stamp or seal, I don't know what you guys call it. Um, yeah, as always, instructions on how to fix everything, how to work with resin for Fort, from Fort World. Uh, not gonna waste any more time on that. Let's put this in the box and put it aside for a second. And we'll go ahead and unbox the next one. And this guy is one of my favorite Primarchs of all time. One of my favorite even models from Fort World. I really love it. I really like it. It's Vulcan. I really love this model. I don't know why it's so 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 pretty sculpted, so amazingly sculpted, so amazingly painted. I really like salamanders. The only like thing that's doesn't motivate me or, or 
like give me the the impulse to buy them is that they're vanilla they're part of the of the codex of the space marines so i'm not that uh, motivated to collect them but Vulcan is one of my favorite primarchs and we can see that there is a bunch of detail, amazing details in this model. The legs have such a small carving in there as you can see, just a slim and rust, even thinner details, really really finely sculpted details in the legs, fire. Um, magma I guess the number of a legion of his knee pad I'm not a salamander player I don't know a lot of their lore but I'm not quite sure what this is uh, if you guys know please leave your comment down below uh, I'll continue working on showing you uh, all right the scales in the armor looks amazing they're awesome i really really like the chest detail you can see all that fire skull the wing the imperial wings these uh, trim on the on the chest and the neck i'm not quite sure is this a power armor or a terminator armor i'm not quite sure I'm not really familiarized with the equipment of Vulcan beside the, the hammer and the multigun in, built in in his armor. And we have, of course, a dead, sad space marine laying at Vulcan's feet, victim of, of his wrath. I'm not sure what to paint this guy. Uh, I'm not sure if I should paint it as a knife lord or as a world eater i think i painted as a world eater but leave me your comments down below what should i do with this what treatment should we give him what chapter should we give him blood <laughs> pouring from his helmet somewhere i don't know give me your opinion Everything is valid. Much appreciated your comments. Okay, let's check the pieces for Balkan. The arms. Let's get a closer look in the arms. And I'm gonna give a little bit more detail on Balkan if I can get this focused. Because this miniature has so much detail on it. The power armor, his armor, I don't know if a Terminator or power armor, but his armor is so awesome. So much detail on it. I really like this model. Like, I've been waiting for, for this Primark for so long. Now I have it. Now I can do all kind of crazy stuff with it, paint it. And I'm not a 30k player. I just like to collect the Primarks. And I will do that. I will connect all, the, collect all the Primarks and create tutorials for every single one of them. Of course, my uh, personalized view of the Primarchs. As you remember, if you see saw the the tutorial for Lehman Russ, I painted his armor in uh, the 40k color scheme of the Space Wolves. Metalized, medium added, but still rust gray, ferrician gray, and the fang paint colors. So nothing so much complicated but really interesting I work with some shade and glazes that unfortunately Games Workshop are not uh, producing anymore shame on you Games Workshop just kidding uh, they will have their reasons I hope they bring the Gilliman blue blood letter and the way watcher green colors back I think there was yellow I'm not quite sure I never used that one but okay moving on uh, the cloak salamander skin cloak it's a little bit um, dirty or filled with, with uh, this extra resin we will not need uh, I think you can see that here um, but nothing I cannot fix real quick I think when I'm cleaning the, the grease out of it 
or the yeah whatever they they put on these things to get them out of their their injection molds uh, those things will come off with a gentle brush if not you can always use a knife okay moving on we have already seen the arms let me see what else we have here the weapons I'm always excited about the weapons because they are really detailed let's see as you can see there's fire and magma the hand wrap is salamander skin I can really play with this with the colors his hand open the one with the for the melter built-in melter and this is sort of a um, cloak part I think it goes on his shoulder or something I'll check that later I'll actually create another video uh, beside the uh, paint I'll uh, create a, a tutorial for assembly because uh, most of the primarchs will require sub assemblies and I will explain on those videos why am I doing that what's the purpose of a sub assembly I'm performing and everything so you can follow every single step in the way so be sure this channel is going to be crowded with content pretty, pretty soon I'll, I have a lot of tutorials in mind uh, for you guys to to check how to easily paint white, how to easily paint yellows, how to easily paint over black, all those colors that always give you nightmares when trying to paint yellow and whites over black. Okay, let's see what else do we have here. Okay, this is what I was talking about. Is this a Terminator head, whatever, like head cockpit, I guess? I don't know. Uh, like this goes on his head behind his head I'll have these separated for sure the backpack also the shoulder pad also will be separated painted uh, apart painted apart from model, the rest of the model because there is so much detail on them I don't want to miss that I'm kind of obsessive when it comes to paint even if that part is not seen if a space marine with a bolter, two-handed bolter, uh, it's already assembled and I, I have to paint it. I'll try fix first to unglue it. If that doesn't work, I'll need to stick my, my brushes in there in between the ball gun and the chest and paint the chest. I'm that kind of painter. I'm quite obsessive with that. Um, these also have a lot of extra resin in between pieces and the feet tubes and the and the actual piece it looks like the mold was not completely sealed when they injected this but nothing to worry about let's put for move forward this is nothing okay let's see what do we have here Vulcan's pistol or revolver oh, looks nice also in salamander skin I will perform different tones of of skin for all these pieces I don't want them all to look the same because ne not necessarily they all came from the same salamander right uh, some leather straps and of course Vulcan's face Let, let's give it a zoom here if we can check it closer come on uh, I guess that's what the most of the best look we can give to it awesomely detailed the eyes are really really small I'll need to use a, a really bright red in order for me to be for you guys to be able to see it the head is in, incredibly neat the injection for this piece is amazing there's no cleaning at all I think I'll need to perform almost no cleaning on it let's see okay there it is is uh, actually really really clean in comparison with all the rest of the pieces uh, that came with this kit so 
so far. Let's uh, check on the basis. That's what we have still pending. Let's put this somewhat. Like it came like that. Okay, let's put this aside for a second. Okay, let's see what else do we have here. All right, this is what I was talking about. Lemon Ross came like this, handwritten. Just the same as Scarner Curse. We're not going to waste any more time on that. And the actual pieces of the base. This is a locking piece, I think. Goes behind the base. Okay, now I just can see a couple of details here. This is extra resin. I don't need that. I can see that there is little, almost no resin in here in the back. So this piece of debris is really really delic delicate I'll need to fix this with some green stuff or liquid green stuff I think green stuff will do the trick just nicely I know that Space Marine maybe victim of Vulcan himself I don't okay I see his face now um, also let me know in the comments below what to paint to make this uh, part, this uh, Space Marine that Space Marine which chapter I will be doing it in that chapter. I think I will go with World Eaters or Emperor's Children. I'm not sure. I, I don't know. Let me know in the comments below. Um, okay, big chunk of resin here. Uh, I'm not a fan of this kind of injection here that they perform. Uh, I'll need to file this away carefully not to break this part. But beside that, I think it's okay. Everything looks fine, except for this. I'll fix this later. It's no big deal. As always, you should be prepared for Forge World, Forge World um, injection problems. All right, this is the actual base for Vulcan. I also will keep this separate from him. I'll paint it apart, and then later I'll glue him into his base. Why? Because, as I said before, I'm quite obsessive with detail. I want to paint every single detail of this. And I don't want to mess up with the Vulcan's power armor painting job. So, I'll keep them separate, make my life easier. This space is pretty straightforward. This goes in here, like that, I guess. And then this comes in lock in here, like that. And that's the base. We have some additional debris here, or something that looks like debris, two independent pieces, uh, pretty easy to cut, pretty straightforward, okay, maybe this one is not that straightforward, let me check, mm. okay, I need to be extra careful with cutting this one down, I'll need to cut as far as I can from the piece, and make my way with the fine detail cutters and then use an exacto knife or um, some knife to cut away the piece without damaging the details on the top of the, of the piece um, so yeah maybe file it away and then use a knife to just detail scratch scratch out that uh, extra resin without damaging the details but that's pretty much it Okay, guys, um, I'll be working on this, I think, next week. Start working on them. Not Vulcan, because I still need a couple of paints to arrive, waiting on them. Um, but Conrad Curse, I have the whole palette ready for him. I've been waiting on it this moment for quite some time. I uh, already plan on this. Next primer, I guess, will be Magnus, of course. I need Magnus because I have already Lemon Rust. Unfortunately, the um, dual primer, uh, dual of a primer space is no longer available. 
so I will not be able to get one of those and assemble Lemon Ross and Magnus in the same base but you know these things happen I'll just need to wait for Forge World to get a um, mate water or something for that base eventually I'll need the same for Paris Manus and um, the Emperor's Children Primark that now I forget the name forget his name Full Dream, yes, uh, Full Dream, okay, so, I'll be working on Magnus next, ordering him, order him in about, I don't know, two months, I guess, and also I will order my, one of my favorite Primarchs, Sanguinius, then next, I'll be ordering, I guess, Ferris Magnus and Angron, I guess, I don't know, Leave your comments uh, down below, what should I get next, I'm pretty sure I'll need to get Magnus, I'll need to get Sanguinius, but after that, I'm not quite sure what to get, so leave your comments down below, let me know what should I paint next, what should I get next, what do you want me to paint, if you have any tutorial idea, ideas, also welcome, critics and comments, I'll be trying to improve my the quality of my videos, uh, over the time, but as you may know, I'm not pro painter. I never won a tournament or a contestment or anything for painting. But if you find anything about my videos useful, then I have accomplished my mission. Thank you very much for your time, guys. Thank you very much for watching this channel, for checking my video. If you like the content of this video, what's coming up ahead, leave your like, your subscription. You can subscribe to my channel, that's uh, really useful. And see you in the next time. See you next time. See you in the next video. We'll be performing Convert Curse tutorial assembly. And you know what? Yeah, sure. Why not? Assembly for both of them in the same video. What do you think? Let me know in your comments down below. And uh, happy wargaming. Till next time.